Shalom and welcome. The title of today's class, The Redemption of God's People. The Redemption of God's People. So as usual, we search the scriptures and see, first and foremost, we will find out who is God's people and who is He coming to redeem. Because we've been reading through the scriptures, God will redeem, and He's going to redeem, and He's going to redeem. Let's go and see who, who, is, who is His people, who is God's people that He's going to redeem. We open up at Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 1. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 1. This is King Solomon. So I returned and considered all the oppression that are done under the sun. So King Solomon said what? He, he return and see what? All the what? Oppressions. Oppressions. Plural. Oppressions that are done under the sun. So somebody is being oppressed <laughs> under the sun. And behold, the tears of such as were oppressed. So there's an oppressor and there's an oppressed. There was Solomon saying, under the sun, I, re I return and I consider that thing. It's like, wow, mm, and he mulling on that. He's saying like, wow. The tears of such as were oppressed. So the uh, people on the earth who's crying out. Who's, they see that? Who's being oppressed? Who's being subdued? Who's being subjugated? That's what he's saying. Who's being trampled on? And Solomon said, wow, tears, they're the crying out. He said, I got the tears of them. And behold, the tears of such as were oppressed. And they had no comforter. They had what? No comfort and nobody to comfort them. You see that? When you bounce your big toe back in the day, your mother come and she comfort you. Or your, or your father say, oh, come, come, come. <laughs> my money up still, but he still, he still know he pay attention to you. He still had a comforter. He ain't go hug you like your mom and cuddle you like your mom, but he go money up. And say, hey, shake that off, man. Something, and you, you feel good, and you forget the pain, and you keep it moving. But them, he said, because Solomon said, I consider those ones, and they had no comfort. The tears, they crying out, they crying out in, 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 in squalor conditions. He said, what? They've been oppressed, and they crying out in tears, and they had no comfort because they don't know who they are. That's what he said about. I return on this, and these people don't know who they are, and they had nobody to comfort them. And on the side of the oppressors, there was power. And the what? He said, on the side of the oppressors, there was oppressing these oppressed people, they had power. The oppressors had what? Power. 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 We're going to go and we're going to search the scriptures and see what is this talking about. First, we let's go and see now. Go to Job 9 and 24. Job chapter 9 verse 24. He said, because he said, so I return and consider all the oppression that are done under the sun. <laughs> you see that? Somebody is oppressing somebody under the sun. Go to Job, obviously talking about under this kingdom, under the sun. This earth is under the sun. Go to Job 9 and 24. Let's see. And on the side of the oppressors is, is, is power. Who is this oppressor? Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Stop. So the wicked is ruling this earth. This kingdom under the sun is being ruled by the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. So the true judges of the earth, you see that? He's covering their faces. You see that? Because he's keeping them in lawlessness and sin. We're going to see. We're going to go and see who is this wicked that covering, that ruling this earth. And who is the what the judges that he's covering? He's covering the eyes of the judges. Go to Psalm 2 and verse 10. Be wise now, therefore, O you kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. So the judges of the earth is somebody who was given the laws of God who's supposed to be judging this earth. You see that? But what? The, the, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked, and he covered the faces of the judges devil. He's hiding who? The Israelites, the children of God, he's hiding them, covering with, with, in with sin. Covering them with sin, blinding them to, to the to the laws of God. That's what he's talking about. Go back to Ecclesiastes 4 1. So I return and consider all the oppression that are done under the sun, the wicked of the earth, who has rulership on this earth, authority on this earth, oppressions, and behold the tears of such as oppressed, the true judges of, of the earth, the children of God, who were given the laws of God to judge this earth in righteousness, but fall because of sin and transgression. They were the tears, they're crying out in tears, they don't even know what happened to them. Why are we being treated like that? Why? You see that? And the what? Go to um, Proverbs 16 and verse 4. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 4. Proverbs 16 and 4. Proverbs 16, verse 4. The Lord had made all things for himself. Yes, the most I created all things. You see that? All things for himself. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. Even the what? The wicked for the day of evil. The most I say he created all things for himself, even the wicked. <laughs> Even the wicked of the earth for evil. Because when you read um, Sirach 33 and verse 30 and verse 14. I read um, 10. 
And all men are from the ground, and Adam was created of earth. Sirach 33 and 10. In much knowledge the Lord had divided them, and made their, way, their ways diverse. So God made all men ways what? Diverse. Some of them had he blessed and exalted, and some of them had he sanctified and set near himself. So some men are what? Righteous or holy, or the judges of the Most High, or judges of the earth. And set near him, these are his people. And some of, had he, some of them had he cursed and brought low and turned out of their place. So some are what? The wicked of the earth, that have given the, word, the, word, the earth into their hands to rule. You see that? The oppressors. You see that? And them as what? The judges, the oppressed. The, the ones that are sitting near to them, they are being oppressed. Why? Because they forsake the, law, the laws of God and the most like God forsake them. Now we're talking about, go back to Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord had made all things for himself. Yes, yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. You see that? So the oppressors, he made them for what? The day of evil. To oppress the what? The judges. Because the judges have violated the laws of God. You see that? The, 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 the earth is given into the hands of who? The wicked. That's what we're talking about. Because I make the wicked for the day of evil. You see that? Go back to Ecclesiastes 4 1. So I return and consider all, all the oppressions that are done under the sun. You see that? And behold, the tears of such as were oppressed. You see that the true judges of the earth are being oppressed. And they had no comforter. And on the side of the oppressors was power. You see that? Because the most I say, the wicked, I created what? Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord had made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Because they had what? Power. He is of the power of the most high God is on their side. On the side of the oppressors, there was power. The power, you see that? Go to Malachi 1 and 4. Malachi 1 and verse 4. Malachi 1 and 4. Malachi 1 verse 4. Whereas Edom saith, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Do you see that? They say what? We, 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 they talk about the, the Renaissance of rebirth. He saw Edom, Rome, the Roman Empire, Idumia, <laughs> all these names. You see that? He said, what? I will return the Renaissance and build the desolate places. I will re rebuild, come back into what? The, re the revival or, or re the re rebirth of the Roman Empire into power and earth, or the, re the revived Roman Empire, sorry. In the Renaissance, that's what he's talking about. Thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall build. You see that? They come back in the Renaissance said, and come back into power and earth. You see that? Because they, were, they, they fell for a little bit. They didn't, they didn't go. They were never obliterated, but they were, you know, overrun for a bit. But they come back with a bang. They shall build. But I will throw down. The most I said, oh, come and build this kingdom. You see that? Like nothing you've ever seen, of, you ever seen before. Dazzling. You see that? But most I say, I will throw down. <laughs> you see that? Most I say, they, will, they shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. You see that? And the people against whom the Lord had indignation forever. So it's the people. You see that? That earth is, the people who's given the, into, the earth is given into their hand. They call them, most I call them the border of wickedness. The earth is given into the who? The hands of wicked. Who? The people of Edom. That we're talking about. This is the Bible. Go back to um, read um, 1 John 5 and 19 first. 1 John chapter 5, verse 19. Read that first. 1 John 5 and 19. And we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. He said, you see that John the Revelator is saying, We have the churn of God. You see that? Or the judges of the earth. We know. But what? The whole world lieth in wickedness. Because what? The earth is given to the hands of the wicked, and the wicked is doing what? Covering the face of the judges. So it's only teaching sin, transgression, evil on the, on the earth, and oppressing the throne of God. You see that? Oppressing the judges, the true judges of the earth. Oppressing. That's what Ecclesiastes 4 talking about. Go to um, Lamentations chapter 4 and verse 17. Lamentations 4 and verse 17. Lamentations 4 and 17. As for us, the judges of the earth, the true judges or the oppressed, our eyes as yet fail for our vain help. You see that? You say you're looking for the help in the wrong places. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. The most I say, give the earth into the hand of the wicked, but you look into the wicked for salvation. Help. You see that? Give me reparations. You see that? Give me equal rights. <laughs> give me justice. You say what? As for us, our eyes as yet fail. Your attempts are futile. For our vain help is vain. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could, could not save us. They cannot save you because they will put you to oppress you. On the sides of the oppressors is what? Power. The most I got is pun using them to punish you behind for transgressing this law, the throne of Israel. That's what we're talking about. They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. That we're talking about. They're going to hunt you behind. The, the most I said on the side of the oppressors was power. That we're talking about. They hunt your steps. Our, go back to um, um, read Leviticus 26, 17 first. Leviticus 26, verse 17. Leviticus 26, 17. Leviticus 26, verse 17. Read from verse 
14. But if you will not hearken unto me, this is the most I tell the children of Israel, but if you will not hearken unto me, read me, which means do my commandments, and will not do all these commandments. If you don't do all the commandments, the children of Israel, let the most I say, if you don't do what I command you to do, something is going to happen to you. You see that? Something going to happen if you don't do them, verse 15. Um, and if you despise my statutes, which means if you're not doing God's commandments and His laws, you hate. Despise means what? Hate. <laughs> you see that? You hate. Hate His laws, His statutes, commandments, if you don't want to do them. Just need to pay attention. But if you will not hearken unto me, and will not do all these commandments, if you don't do them, and you, 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 you shall despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my judgment, God say you hate. If you don't want to do them laws, statutes, commandments, you hate him. That we telling you. You hate him and you hate the laws. And if your soul abhor my judgment, you use despise and abhor. So that you will not do all the, my commandments. If you do not do the commandments, you hate or you abhor the commandments or you hate the most high God. That's what he's saying. The Bible is saying it. It's plain. You see that? So that you will not do all my commandments. But that you break my covenant. If you break God's laws, you see that? God say you hate him and you boy. I will also do this unto you. Moses say, I go pay back. I go pay back. You see that? That's why what? On the side of the oppressors of what? Power. And Moses say what? My power with them. I will also do this unto you. I, I, will, I will appoint over you terror. Why? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Now we say, the, um, Solomon said, tears in the eyes of them that are oppressed. You see that? You see much oppression. I will appoint terror over you. The most I say, I will appoint who? Terror over you. Because Job 9.24 said, The earth is given into the hands of who? The wicked. The border of wickedness. You see that I'm talking about? I will appoint terror over you. Consumption and the burning egg that shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart. You see that? that, that what Solomon say? They were what? They were what? They, were, they had no comforter. They were uh, such as were oppressed. The tears of such as were oppressed and they had no comforter. Tears. That we say what? The most go back to the verse 26.16 And I will what? And I will, I will also do this unto you. I will appoint over you even terror and consumption and the burning egg that shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart and you shall sow your seed in vain for your enemy shall eat it up. Most I say what? The enemy is going to dominate you and but oppress you behind. That's what we say. The tears of such as oppress. 17. And I will set my face against you. Most I say what? I am going to set my face against you. I am going to be against you churn up Israel scattered in the diaspora. That's why you're scattered in the diaspora. Most I is against you because you avoid his judgment. You see that? You despise his law, statutes. That was the most I say. And I will set my face against you, and you shall be slain before your enemies. That's why Lamentation 4 and 17 say what? They, if 4 and 18, they hunt our steps. They're going to hunt your steps. You see that? And we cannot go in our streets. That was the most I say what? Go to Leviticus 26, 17 again. And I will set my face against you, and you shall be slain before your enemies. That's what the most I say. They're going to hunt your steps. They're going to slay you in the streets. They're going to kneel you in your neck. They're going to pick to the death. They're going to put bullets in your head. You know, put bullet. That's what the most I say because of your violation of my law. You despise, you hate, you abhor the most I God laws that is commandments by just sitting on the fence and saying, I don't believe in nothing. The laws of God are done away with. Done away with. Most I say, that's hatred to my, you hate my laws and you hate me. So guess what? I'm going to be against you. And I will set my face against you, and you shall be slain before your enemies. They that hate you shall reign over you. The most I say, they hate you and they will reign over you. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. That's what the most I say. And he said, they hate you. But they're going to what? Reign. R-E-I-G-N means what? Rule over you or dominate you or oppress you. <laughs> they're going to oppress you. And you shall flee when none pursue it. That was the most I say. <laughs> um, you, you're going to fear. You're going to be fear when no man, no man even running it. That was it. But look, Lamentation 4, 17 say what? 4, 18, they hunt your steps. And you cannot go in the street. They're going to kill you behind. They're going to persecute you. You see that? Go back to um, Ecclesiastes 4 and 1. You see what? And what? And behold, the tears of such as were oppressed, and they had no comforter. And on the side of the oppressors, there was power. Power. Power on the side of the oppressors. Go to Jeremiah 50, 33. Jeremiah 50, 33. On the side of the oppressors, there was power. Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 33. Jeremiah 15, 33. Thus said the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. The children of Israel and the children of Judah, northern kingdom and southern kingdom, you see that? Were oppressed together. They were what? Oppressed together. Captivities. You see that? I sent them away out of my land. And all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. They were pressing behind. You see that? <laughs> They refuse to let them go. They see that just as Pharaoh, he said, let my people go and free us. Pharaoh, who's God that I should let them go? No. He refused to let them go. The most I say, what? Yes, in this diaspora, 
the children, all the nations, all that took the children of Israel captive, they refused to let them go. This is the, the Holy Bible. Thus said the Lord, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were pressed together. And all that took them captives, <laughs> conquered them in the north, south, and central America. You see that? Conquered them in the west coast of Africa. You see that? And scattered them into the trust of slavery throughout the four corners of the earth. They held them fast and they refused to let them go. You see that? Verse 34, their Redeemer is strong. The what? Their Redeemer is strong. The Lord of hosts is his name. And he shall truly plead their cause that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. You see that? You see that? So that was ancient Babylon. Now it's what? Babylon the Great. Or what? Spiritually, Sodom and Egypt. Babylon the Great. You see that? In the diaspora. Baby Babylon. You see that? Esau, Edom, Rome. <laughs> you need to understand. Verse 17. Israel is a scattered sheep. Who is that? The Israelites. Northern Southern Kingdom. And they are what? Oppressed together. They are oppressed together. Go to Isaiah 63 and verse 10. Isaiah chapter 63, verse 10. Isaiah 63 and 10. Because they say on the side of the oppressors was power. Isaiah 63 and 10. What is this power? But they rebelled. They rebelled. Most I said the, the children of Israel rebelled. We all they are boys, laws, or despise his statutes and commandments. That's rebellion. By refusing to do all his commandments. But they rebelled and vexed his Holy Spirit. The most side. Therefore, he was turned to be their enemy, and he fought against them. You see that? You need to understand. The most I see, he, he was turned to be what? The throne of Israel. Your God. He turned to be your enemy. Go back to Ecclesiastes 4 and 1 again. So I returned and considered all the oppression that are done under the sun, and behold, the tears of such as were oppressed, the throne of Israel, the throne of Judah, the throne of Jerusalem. You see that? Of Judah and Israel, northern kingdom, southern kingdom. You see that? Were oppressed together. Do you see the tears of such as were oppressed, the throne of Israel, no, Judah and Israel, the twelve tribes, and they had no comfort. You see that? Nobody to comfort them. Because what? And on the side of the oppressors, there was power. Because the most I say, I was going to be their enemy. And I fought against them. With the oppressors. With the wicked of the earth. I'm punishing each one of his own in the diaspora. You see that? I'm still a redeemer though. At the end of the day, I'm still a redeemer. But they had no comforter. But the comforter what? They had no comforter. You see it twice in that verse. And on the side of the oppressors, was, there was no power, but they had no comforter. Nobody to comfort us. Nobody. Go to um, Hosea chapter 3 and verse 4. Hosea chapter 3 verse 4. Hosea 3 and 4. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king, and without a prince, and without a sacrifice, and without an image, and without an ephod, and without the teraphim. You see that? Afterwards shall the children of Israel return and seek the Lord their God. And what? And they're going to return or repent and seek the Lord their God. Come back and stop a boy, you know, hating them statues or despising God's laws. You see, they're going to love them. <laughs> they're going to run to them and he realizes the most like God they're fighting against. He's on the what? On the side of the oppressors is power. He's on there giving them the power to crush you behind. You see that? And seek the Lord their God and David their king. And shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the latter days. In the what? In the latter days. David their king is who? Yahushua Hamashiach. Let me talking about you're gonna you're gonna reverence, you're gonna bow down and do them laws gladly instead of hating and despising them. You see that? In the latter days. Guess what? Yes, we're waking up in the latter days. You need to understand. That we're talking about in the latter days. Go to um Lamentations 1. 26. Lamentation 1 and verse 26. Lamentation 1 and 26. Mm, that's what I want. Sorry, Lamentation 1 and 20. Behold, O Lord, for I am in distress. My bowels are troubled. My heart is turned within me, for I have grievously rebelled. You see that? Lamentation 120. I have grievously rebelled. You see that? We, but, but I have abhorred God's judgment and laws. I have what? Rejected. You see that? God laws. That's rebellion. You see that? I have grieve for I have grievously rebelled. Abroad the sword be revet. At home there is uh, there is as death. So you say what? Abroad, wherever you go, the sword is there to what? Be revet. Killing. 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 We really mean what? Test and destruction because of the wicked of the earth. <laughs> you see that? Most of the time punish them. Abroad the sword be revet and at home there is death. Death and destruction for what? Abhorring God's laws. You see that? Or rebellion against God's laws. Rebellion. Go to John 14, I read 15 down. John chapter 14, verse 15, I read 15 through 26. John 14 and 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. That Yahushua is saying, you see that Yahushua must say, what? if you love me, keep my commandments. That's the love of God. It keep my commandments, not a bore or rebel or don't want to do it. And I will pray the Father that He shall give you another comforter. That's what we're talking about. If you keep the commandments, I will pray to the Father, the Most High, and He will give you another comforter. You see that? He will give you a comforter, somebody to comfort you. Because on the side of the oppressor, you see that? 
was power and they had no comforter. The children of Israel had no comforter. So he said, if you love me, if you come back to them commandments, I will give, I'll pray to the Most High to send a comforter for you. So you wouldn't be oppressed no more. You're not going to be in tears oppressed. You see that? That he may abide with you forever. So that comforter, comforter will abide with you for what? Forever. Even this verse 17, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But you know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. The comforter is what? The spirit of truth. You see that? Carnal man cannot receive that. You see that? Because that no carnal man can receive the things of God because it's what? Foolishness to him. That's 1 Corinthians 4. You don't have this, this, the spirit of God. Um, 1 Corinthians 4, um, 11. Sorry, 1 Corinthians 2 and 11. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man? What is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God. So the man, only the, 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 the spiritual man who going to understand the things of God. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God. You see that which is the spirit of God or the spirit of truth or the comforter. That's what Paul is talking about. You see that? Go back to John 14 and verse 17. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. You see that? Because if it's a carnal man or earthly man, you cannot receive the spirit of truth or the comforter because you're not keeping God's laws. You despise him and you avoid his laws. Or you're rebelling against him. You're in rebellion. The Mr. Rebellion. There were Christ, Yahweh was saying, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you keep them commandments, then you show that you love the Messiah. You don't hate him or you're not rebelling against him. Then you can receive what? The spirit of, of, of God. The things of the, of the, of the Messiah. Things from above. The comforter and the spirit of truth. Which the, with whom the world cannot receive because they see at him not, because they don't want to acknowledge the Lord, the laws, and they don't want to what do the commandments or keep the commandments. You're in rebellion. Neither know at him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. The ones who love Christ are the most high and keeping his laws, you see that? Then now we're gonna understand the spirit of truth will dwell in them and the comfort will come to them, and they will be not, they will not be oppressed. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yahushua say what? I will not leave you comfortless if you keep my commandments. If you love me and keep my commandments according to verse 15. And I will come to you. The Spirit of Christ is, I will come to you. The Spirit of the Most High say, I will come to you. I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world see at me no more. But you see me, because I live, and you shall live also. That we say, you know, when I go back, I am sending that Spirit back to you. Keep them commandments. At that day you shall know that I am in my... I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. This is, that's some heavy stuff he's saying here. He said, it's the Spirit of my Spirit, Yahushua's Spirit, and the Father's Spirit, Yahweh's Spirit. That we're talking, going to be in you for keeping my commandments. That we're telling you. That's powerful stuff. He that had my commandments and keepeth them, if the man that keep them commandments are not in rebellion or abhorring them commandments or despising to keep them laws, and seeing Christ fulfill the law, Christ under the law, he said, or pretending and keeping some of the law and willfully sinning, you see that? Being deceitful and crafty and cunning. They're pretending he's a super, he's a super Israelite, you see that, and still in the midst of wickedness and sin. You see that? Not that man he's talking about. He's talking about he that had my commandments and keep at them. The man's going to keep these commandments. Just, you see that? I ain't trimming my ways for nobody. I'm not trimming my ways to seek love. That we see saying, the Lord said, I will do. You see that? That's the Lord, I will do. That we talk. He that had my commandments and keep at them, he it is that loveth me. That's how we show you love the Mosai. That 99.9% and, and, and that 1.1% willful sin. In talking about accidental or, or sin and ignorance. Willful sin is talking about, I ain't doing that. <laughs> I ain't doing that. I can't he behind? I'm going to rip him off. I'm going to extort him. I'm going to, no. I'm going to say, don't be a lost, I'm a whoremonger. No, that's not what you're talking about. That man, you love the most like God. No, you're still playing games. You see that? He that had my commandments and keep at them, he it is that loveth me. That's what you should love the most like God. You're going wholeheartedly and going to keep them lost to the best of your ability. You see that? If I fall, and now I find out, okay, I didn't know that I was doing that, fix it now. From hence what I do it no more. That's what we tell and keep it moving. Until it, as they discover, you repent. As they discover, you repent. That's what we're talking about. Keep it, fix it and keep it moving. Not willfully doing the same thing over and over. That's evil. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my father. And I will love him and will manifest myself to him. That's what you're supposed to say. I will manifest myself or make myself known to you. Who are you, William? Spiritually, who I am. That we're talking about, you get the comforter. Judas said unto him, not Iscariot, not Judas and Iscariot. Not Judas Iscariot. Lord, how is it that thou will manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? He said, how are you going to manifest yourself to we and not to the rest of them? You see that? Yahushua answered and said unto him, If a man love me, and he will keep my words, and my father will love him. He said, if a man love me, if you love me, he will keep my words. You will keep them laws, statutes, commandments. You see that? You won't play games. <laughs> that we talk now. You will keep them laws. And my father will love him. That's how the most I have, we will love you. That we're talking about. That's how we love you. If you keep them commandments sincerely and stop playing games, stop being deceitful. 
he will keep my words, and my father will love him, and we, and who, and we, Yahushua, and Yahweh, and we will come unto him, and make our abode with him. The Spirit of the Father and the Spirit of the Son will be in that man, once you keep in the commandments. <laughs> this is what we're talking about. Sin said, not praying games. That we're talking about. He that loveth me not, keep, keep it not my sin. So if you don't love him, or you hate him, or you avoid him, or you despise him, you ain't going to keep them commandments. That's that what you're trying to say. So if you, you, Christ will say, Lord, you're still pretending and being a homemonger, still, still being an extortioner, you see that being deceitful that we're talking about, you don't love the Mosai. You see that you rebel and you hate and you're born the Mosai. He that loveth me not, you don't love him. You see that? Keep it not my sin. That's why you, 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 you can't keep the, 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 the Lord's status commandments of the Mosai because you hate him. He that loveth me not, keep it not my sin. You hate him and you're born him. And the word which you hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. Say, I didn't come and give all my own words. Never did. But the most high God laws, Yahweh laws, that's what we're talking about. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the comforter, the what? The comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, that comforter is the Holy Ghost, is or the Spirit of Truth, whom the Father will send in my name, the most high Yahweh sending the Spirit, which is the Holy Ghost, that Spirit of the Comforter, through Yahushua. You see that? That's what he say. No man can come to the Father but through me. You have to acknowledge Yahushua. You see that? You must acknowledge him. Now we're talking about the most, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost or the, the Spirit of Truth, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you, the Lord will start to come and judgment and testimony. You will plant it in your spirit and it will be here. He's planting it right into, 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 that, into, into your memory bank that we're talking about. He planted it into that bank, your memory bank. Most I say, what? Well, that's what you're going to understand. Why is he, why is he going to that scripture? How is it? No, the most I say, most I my spirit and the spirit, son's spirit is in you. That we're talking about. We will come and make our board with him. You need to understand. Go back to Ecclesiastes 4. Go back to Ecclesiastes 4. Read one again. So I returned and considered all the oppression. I was Salman saying, I reconsidered what? All the oppression that are done under the sun. You see that? Somebody's oppressing. <laughs> you see, the wicked are self, they're in the midst of sin, but they've been oppressed. He said, and I sit that upon them. It is my people, just the children of Israel. You see what? And behold, the tears of such of the oppressed, they cry out in tears. He said, look at, the, look at the conditions they're living in. They have nothing, nothing to eat. Not even a roof to put over their head, a proper roof. That we're talking about. Look how they live in squalor conditions. But what? Tears, tears, they're crying out in tears. They see that they're singing all these songs. These songs, these songs rip your heart. Sometimes these songs, they just whatever songs they're singing. And they're ripping your heart. is emotional songs. They're crying out, but they don't understand. They're still in the midst of sin. You have to forsake the sin and come back to the laws of God. You're the children of God. And the tears are such as oppressed. And they had no comforter. That's why he's saying, who are we? Who are these people that are being oppressed? They see that? Because why? They turn your back on the most high God. You're the most powerful thing on this earth. The most powerful people on this earth. That's what he's saying, but they turn your back on your power. That's what the most I say. And they had no comforter. The power of Yahweh and the Father. Yahushua and the Father Yahweh. And on the side of the oppressors, there was no power. You see that? Because the power of the Mosai, the Mosai say what? Yahweh, I'm going to give them my power to oppress it, oppress it behind for violating my law. You don't want to do what I tell it to do, I'm going to punish it behind with the, with the wicked or the, or the heathen. You see that? But they had no comforter. That was the same. But if you don't keep them laws, that's why you're being oppressed. You, and the oppressors are what? They're having a time, laughing at you. You see, they, you, they repent and return to the laws of God. So that's how we read John 14, 15 through 26. That's how the Spirit of Truth will come on, you, come on you. That's how the Comforter will come on you. That's how the Father and the Son, Yahushua and Yahweh, are going to come and dwell with you. And you're going to be the God you were meant to be, to rule this earth. That we're talking about, the redemption of God's people. Matthew 20 and 16. Matthew 20, verse 16. So the last shall be first, and the first shall be last. For many be called, but few are chosen. So he's saying what? Many are called. The last is going to be first, and the, or the oppressed going to be what? Oppressing in the end. <laughs> you see that? The, the, the last will be first. The oppressed, the, um, Solomon say what? The tears of such as the oppressed. But they have what? No comfort. So when they come back to the laws, they're going to be the, the last, and they're going to be what? First. The, the oppressed could be the oppressor. For many be called, but few are chosen. You see that? But what? Many of the children are going to call up, many, but few of them will be chosen. The ones who will what? Probably I would say, come back to the laws. Or if you love me, keep my commandments. Them is the ones, you see that? The, that the spirit of truth, or the, the spirit of the Father Yahweh and the spirit of the Son Yahushua will come and dwell with them. That's the few that are going to be chosen, or the elect that we're talking about. Many will call, many will come in and say, yes, I'm an Israelite, I'm, yes, I'm, I'm the child of God, but they're still refusing to keep the commandments. They're still in the midst of sin, secret sin, you see that? Willful sin, that we say, but many are called, but few are chosen. Go to 2nd Ezra chapter 8. Second Ezra, many are called, but few are chosen. 2nd Ezra chapter 8, I read verse 1. 
Second is just 8 and verse 1. And he answered me saying, the, this is Ezra the prophet, and he answered me saying, the most I had made this world for many. The, the most I made what? This world for many, but the world to come for few. The, the kingdom of heaven is for what? A few. Because many, what? Sinners in this world, sin, this is a sinful kingdom. <laughs> is what? Many going to be here, the oppressed and oppressed are dwelling here together in one. But the world to come, but the kingdom to come is for what? A few. The ones who will come back to them, Lord, who are going to repent and keep them laws. That world is for few. Verse 3. There be many created, but few shall be saved. It most I say I'm created many, <laughs> but few shall be saved. The ones who are going to repent and come back to my laws. They will cry, say, if you love me, keep my commandments. That we're going to send a comforter to you. You see that? Me and the Father are going to come and make a, a board with you. That's your protection. That way you will make you, that will make you what? The exclusive club. The exclusive club of your elect. There will be many created, but few shall be saved. You see that? Go to verse 41. Go to verse 41. For as the husbandman soweth much seed upon the ground, and planted many trees, and yet the thing that is sown good, in his season cometh not up. You see that? Neither doth all that is planted take root, even so is it of them that are sown in the world. You see that? They shall not all be saved. The same way. That's what you see about They could plant trees and then all of a sudden something coming up. Why? Most I say, just so in this kingdom, not everybody could be saved. Yeah, but they have to repent and come back to this laws. And the elect of God, the children of Israel, you must repent and come back to God's laws. Whatever is 55. Verse 55. And therefore ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. So Ezra keep asking them, asking the angel question. He said, but don't ask me no more questions about them. The multitude are going to, the multitude are going to perish. Because they what? Abhor God's laws. They hate God's laws. You see that? So you're going to redeem who? The few that are going to be changed. They're going to come back to them laws. They're going to love the most and show that love by keeping the commandments. You see what? And therefore ask now don't, don't know, no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. He said, don't ask me no more questions about, about them. Because they were rebellion. They rebelled in rebellion. Go, back, go to um, second chapter 9 and verse 15. Second is just 9 and verse 15. I have said before and now do speak. And will speak it also hereafter. That there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. Because why? They hate God's laws. They're in rebellion. Rebellion against God's laws. They love the sinful kingdom. Go to verse 22. Let the multitude perish then which were born in vain. And let my grave be kept. And my plant. For with great labor have I made it perfect. By what? How do you become perfect? Keeping the law. Psalm 19 and verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. If you keep God's laws, you're going to become perfect. That we're talking about. So that's the one... So the multitude that are going to perish is the one who's going to reject the law or bore or hate God's laws. You see that? So there's no redemption for them. You see that? The, 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 the one, the, 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 the what? The, let my grape be kept. The grape, you see that? Or the elect. And my plan. For with great labor have I made it perfect. They're going to come back to the law. They're going to perfect them, themselves by the application of God's laws. Go to Isaiah 8 and verse 14. Isaiah 8, 14 and 15. Isaiah 8 and 14. And he shall be for a sanctuary, but for a stone of stumbling, and for a rock of offense, to board the houses of Israel, for a gin, and for a snare to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And many among them shall stumble and fall, and be broken, and be snared, and be taken, because what? Of sin, of transgression, of sin, of transgression. That's why many go what? Fall and stumble, because they're refusing to bow down to the most High God laws, to do what they're commanding, and keep making excuse. God, the laws are done away with. The laws are done away with. No. Most I say no. You're going to stumble and you're going to fall and you're going to be taken. You see that? You're going to, be, you're going to get put to death. Many call a few chosen. That we're talking about. Go to um, chap chapter 7 and verse 70. Second Ezra 7, 70. Second Ezra chapter 7, verse 70. There should be a very few left per adventure in an innumerable, innumerable multitude. So he's saying an innumerable multitude of, of people created on this earth or an innumerable multitude of, of, of Israelites. You see that? If they don't repent. There will be few left. You see that? The remnant. The remnant of the elect. You must repent and come back to the Lord. That we're talking about. There will be what? Many are called, but few are chosen. You have to repent and you have to keep the laws. Go to Matthew 7 and verse 14. Matthew chapter 7, verse 14. Because straight is the gate, it is the way, and because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. You see that? Most high straight is the way and narrow is the way that leads unto life, and few men will find it. Because the most I go to what second Ezra 7 and 21. Second Ezra 7 and verse 21. He says, Straight is the way and straight is the way 
and sorry, straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life or immortality. And few there be that find it because there's few going to come back to them laws and repent and keep them laws sincerely. Second is just 7 and 21. For God had given straight commandments. Read from 20. For there, there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of God that is set before them. That's why you're going to perish. You see that? But that's why the multitude going to perish. Because they hate God's laws. Because they despise the law of God. Despise means hate. This, this Solomon, you see that? Solomon say what? They were oppressed. They were oppressed. Why are they oppressed? Because they hate the laws of God. Despise the laws of God. Because 26, 17, 16, 17 say the same thing. Because I say, you bore him and you despise his statutes. They despise the law of God that is set before them. For God had given straight commandments to such as came. Plain commandments. It is what keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. Christ fulfill the law. Keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. Christ fulfill the law. I give you straight commandments. God had given straight commandments to such as came. What did they should do to live? To get immortality or eternal life. Even as they came and what they should observe to avoid punishment. If you love me, keep my commandments. Means if you don't love me, if you don't keep them, you hate me. And guess what? Gonna be judgment for you. I'm not going to reward bad behavior. That's, that's what the most I say. You see that you need to understand. Go to Matthew 22 and verse 14. Matthew 22 verse 14. For many are called, but few are chosen. That's what he's saying, what? Many men will be called, but few men will be chosen. He keeps saying it over and over and over and over. Many are called, few will be chosen. Go to um, Job 19 and verse 25. Job chapter 19 verse 25. Job 19 and 25. Job 19 and 25. For I know that my Redeemer liveth. Job say what? I know for a surety that my Redeemer liveth. The most I go. You see that? He liveth. And that, I, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And you see that? The end time. At the latter day he's going to be standing on the earth. He's going to dominate and take this kingdom down. You see that? He's coming to take them. He shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. You see that? And though after my skin worms destroy this body, he said, after he dead and gone, yet in my flesh shall I see God. Job said, I will see him. Physically I will see him. Whom I shall see for myself and mine eyes shall behold and not another. You see that? Job said, nobody else is going to see him. I will see him. You see what? I will be there. You need to understand what he's talking about. Yeah, Job was way back, right? Yeah. He said, I will be there in the latter day and I will see him for myself. You need to understand. <laughs> the prophets of God, the prophets of God are back. You see that? Go to the, um, Psalm 78, verse 35. Psalm chapter 78, verse 35. Psalm 78 and 35. Psalm 78, verse 35. And they remembered that God was their rock, and the high God their redeemer. The children of Israel remembered what? The high God was their rock. You see that? The high God was their rock, and God was their redeemer. You see that? You need to understand. That what? The redemption of God's people. The children of Israel that's scattered in the diaspora, you see that punishing it behind. But what? I come back. I come back and get you. Isaiah 41, verse 14. Isaiah 41 and 14. Isaiah 41, verse 14. Fear not, thou, thou womb, Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee. The most I say, don't have no fear. I will help you. You see that? I said the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am your Redeemer. I will help you, you turn of Israel, northern kingdom, southern kingdom, scattered in the diaspora, the Israelites, the true Israelites of God. You see what? I will help thee. I am your redeemer. I am your redeemer. You see that? God's people. That's with the turn of Israel. Uh, chapter four, Isaiah 43 and verse 14. Isaiah 43 verse 14. Thus said the Lord, your redeemer, the holy one of Israel. You see that? So who is the redeemer? The holy one of Israel. He said, I am your redeemer, you turn of Israel, the Israelites. For your sake I have sent to Babylon and have brought down all their nobles and the Chaldeans whose cries in their ship. For your sake. I have, you see that? I have your redemption. I'm going to bring down your oppressors. That was Pope Solomon talking about in Ecclesiastes 4 and 1. You see that? On the side of the oppressors there was power. And you see, I see the tears of such as oppressed. What Babylon was oppressing the children of Israel in captivity? Most I say what I bringing him down. You see that? What? For your sake. For your sake I have sent to Babylon and have brought down all their nobles. I'm bringing them down. You see that? And the Chaldeans, I will bring them to the ground. You see that? I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King, your Redeemer. That's what the Most High is saying. You need to understand. Go to um, Isaiah 44 and 6. Thus said the Lord, the King of Israel, and His Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. And who? The King of Israel and His Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. Is that Father and Son? You see that? You need to understand. I am the first and I am the last. And beside me there is no God. You see that? I am the first, I am the last. I was in the beginning.
and I will be there in the end. What Job said, I will see him for myself in the end. <laughs> you need to understand, because I was in the beginning, I made the, cre the creation. In the beginning was the word, John 1 and 1, and, 1, and the word was God, and the word was God, Yahushua Mashiach. You need to understand. Go to Isaiah 54, verse 5 to 8. Isaiah 54, verse 5 to 8. Why do you keep saying, I am your Redeemer? Isaiah 54 and 5. For thy maker is thine husband. The most I say, I am the creator of the children of Israel. I am your husband. The Lord of hosts is his name. And thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am your maker. I am your husband. I am your redeemer. You see that? I, I put it away, but I come and take with you. You see that? The God of the whole earth shall he be called because I am going to be ruling this earth. I create this earth to wife. My power is with who? The wicked are going to punish you because this is my earth. And if you violate my laws, I'm going to use who I want to punish you. You must say what? The Lord of the whole earth. The God of the whole earth shall he be called. But what? For the Lord had called the children of Israel as a woman. We see that as a what? A woman. You see that? Forsaken. A woman what? Forsaken. You see, oppressed by the oppressors. For the Lord had called thee as a woman, forsaken and, a, and grieved in spirit. You see that? And, the, and, the, and the, Solomon said, I saw the tears of such as oppressed. You see that? A woman what? Grieved in spirit. You see that? She mourning. And a wife of the children of Israel mourning in the diaspora. Mourning in the city of the slave. It is the most I put castle behind off for violating his laws. You see that? Or wicked behind, we refusing to repent. You need to repent. We must repent and come back to the Most High God laws to get favor in His eyes. You see that so He can redeem us and lift us out of this kingdom, this sinful kingdom. For the Lord had called thee as a woman, forsaken and grieved in spirit. That's why we grieve. You see that, and you don't understand why. And a wife of youth, when thou was refused, said thy God. When he was what refused for rebellion, for being what grievous against, uh, finally grievous to keep His laws. You see that for rejecting His laws, for forsaking His laws. That's why you see what. That's why I refuse it. See that. For a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee. I will redeem you with great mercies. You see that? Once you come and repent and bow down to me, I'll, say, God, I'll, I'll welcome you in open arms. I'm going to welcome you in open arms. Go to um, Isaiah 52 and verse 9. Isaiah 52 and 9. Break forth into joy. Sing together, ye waste places of Jerusalem. For the Lord had comforted his people. He had redeemed Jerusalem. He had done what? Redeem Jerusalem, I will comfort you. You see, I will speak comfortably unto you. You, come, you, see, you need to repent. Repent and return to my laws. The most I say, what? Just like you know, I put away my wife. But I would, if you, you, you come back to me and tell me, sorry. The most I say, taking it back. I gladly redeem you. taking it back. Come home. Come home there. You children of Israel, come home. That's what the most I say. Come back to my laws. Come back to my laws. Um, read Luke 1. I read verse 68 to 80. Luke chapter 1, verse 68 through 80. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. The God of who? The God of Israel. He says the God of the whole earth, right? I create the whole earth, but what? I am the God of Israel. I choose them. That's my bride. You see that? I'm called as a, as a woman forsaken, as a bride. God say what? Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. The children of Israel. The Israelites scattered in the diaspora and chattel slavery. For he had visited and redeemed his people. He said he's going to redeem you from the hood's fabulous reservations in the hood. Scattered in all the corners of the earth in subservian conditions. You see that? Scholar condition. You see what? He had visited and redeemed his people. And had raised up an horn of salvation for us, the children of Israel, in the house of his servant David, Yahushua HaMashiach. You see that? As he spake by, his, by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we, the children of Israel, or the oppressed, should be saved from our enemies, the oppressors. That what Lamentations 4 is talking about Solomon. That we, the oppressed, who the tears of such as were oppressed, shall be saved from or comforted, from our enemies, you see that redeemed from our the plucked out of their hand and with comfort. I will speak to you comfortably. That will say, I will send a comfort because I'm going to come and I'm going to dwell with you. Me and the Father, Yahushua and Yahweh, Father and Son, come in and dwell with you. When if you keep my commandments, that was John 14 15 saying, 15 to 26. If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father and He will send a comforter to you. We will come and make our abode with you. That we're talking about. And we that we shall be saved when we repent from our enemies, the oppressors. And from the hand of all that hate us, your oppressors. That would say on the side of the oppressors of what power? Most I say I fight with them against you now because they violate me. That's what most I say. You're in violation. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers, to remember his holy covenant. The most I say what I do not for your sake, but for my name's sake. That's what we're talking about. Because I promised it to Abraham. <laughs> says it, them is my turn. In your seat, we bless. So that them is my turn. So I have to keep the oath. The most I say I can't lie. That he would grant unto us. That we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, the oppressed, being delivered out of the hand of the oppressors, might serve him without fear. We will come back to them laws. You see that? We will come back to them laws and in holiness and righteousness before him. All the days of our life, keeping them laws, that is commandments and judgment. You see that? In holiness and righteousness. 
and thou child shall be called the prophet of the highest for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his way. You see that? Yahushua Hamashiach. To give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins. Forgiveness of their sins. You see that? So you have to what? Sin is what? Transgression of the law. By 1 John 3 and 4. So you have to what? Come back to the law. Stop transgressing the law. To, be, to, to receive what? Forgiveness of sins. You can keep, keep, keep sinning and say, God forgive me from sin. You have to repent of it. And from henceforth, do it no more. Come back to them laws. Through the tender mercy of our God, you see that? Whereby the day spring from on high had visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, the oppressed, in the shadow of death. That's why there are tears in the eyes of the oppressed. In the shit in what? Darkness in the shadow of death. Sin, sin. Surah 17, 26. What do you mean sit in darkness? Surah chapter 17, verse 26. Surah 17 and 26. Read 24. But unto them that repent, you see that repent from what? Sin or transgression of the law, he, grant, he granted them return. You see that? And comforted those that fail in patience. The, that's the only way to comfort you. If you repent or come back to my laws or return to my laws or if you love me, keep my commandments. If you keep the commandments, return unto the Lord or repent. Repent means return. Re return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins because sin is a transgression of the law according to 1 John 3 and 4. Stop committing sin. Keep them laws. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. Stop offending against the Most High God. You say you hate him or bore him. Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity or sin or evil or transgression of the law. For he will lead thee out of darkness. So the sin or the, the transgression of the law is darkness or iniquity or evil. That's how he's going to lead you, lead you out of iniquity or darkness. Into the light. We see Proverbs 6.23. The commandments of the lamp and the Lord is light. Into the light or immortality or the laws of God. You see that? And hate thou abom abomination vehemently. Hate sin or transgression of laws. Hate breaking the law. You see that? A boy itself. That's what I was doing. That was breaking itself. I was doing, man. That's some evil thing I was doing. That's some evil stuff. You hate yourself when you, when you understand who you are. You see that? A God. Then Moses said, Come back to that. That's why I'm going to feel to darkness. Go back to Luke 1 and verse 79. To give light to them that, shine in, that sit in darkness. Proverbs 6 23. The commandments of the lamp and the laws light. Light or immortality to them that sit in, in darkness. The laws. Plant the laws in the spirit and they will gain immortality. That, that sit in sin or iniquity and in the shadow of death. For the wages of sin is what? Death. The wages of sin is death. <laughs> I'm talking about Romans. The wages of sin is death. Romans 6 and 23. For the wages of sin is death and the gift of God is eternal life. True Yahushua HaMashiach. Jesus Christ. Or how you show HaMashiach. They say what? The gift of God is eternal life or immortality. If you keep them laws, that's the gift you're going to get. Um, back to Luke 1 and 79. To give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. To guide our feet into the way of peace. You see that great peace of David, what? Love the law. Psalms 119 verse 165. If you come back to them, Lord, that's where you will get peace. If you love them, Lord. And the child grew, Yahushua, and walked strong in spirit, and was in the desert till the day of his showing unto Israel. You see that? <laughs> he was what? Doing anything, teaching up and on the diaspora. What? Till the day of his what? Showing unto Israel. Showing unto Israel. John 1 29. John chapter 1 verse 29. John 1 29. The next day John said, Yahushua come in unto him, and said, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. You see that? That's what he's saying, what? He taketh away the what? Sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, after me cometh a man, which is preferred before me, for he was before me. And I knew him not, but that he should be made manifest to Israel. You see that? Yahushua, the Lamb of God, that take away the sin of the world, the, church, the remission of sin, and he made manifest to who? Israel, the children of Israel. The children of Israel. That would um, Luke 1 and 1 and 8. Luke chapter 1 verse 8 is saying what? And the child waxed grew. You see that? In the desert. And waxed strong in spirit and was in the desert. Still the day of his showing unto Israel. He manifestation unto Israel. That we need to, that's the what? Your Redeemer. Your Redeemer. Your Redeemer. Your redeemer. Definition of the word Redeemer. According to Miriam Webster's. It's a noun. A person who redeems. A person who redeems. Synonym. A deliverer. A what? A deliverer. A rescuer. A saver. And a saviour. You see that? So he's the what? He, the, he manifest unto Israel or he's showing unto Israel the Redeemer of the sister is what? He's going to be what? The deliverer of Israel. You see that? The Redeemer of Israel, the deliverer of Israel. Good, um, the new Strong's. This is the new Strong's expanded expansive co concordance. The new Strong's expanded expansive concordance. I go into Greek to so look at that word redemption or redeem. Redeem. Look, looking at the word redeem. The word redeem is um, Greek 3083. It's in the Greek concordance, the Greek dictionary of the New Testament, Greek 3083. 
Let's go and see what this, what, 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 why is this, he, he's going to be showing unto Israel the Redeemer. It's a word, Lutron, from 389. Something to loosen with. Something to what? To loosen with. A redemption price. A what? A redemption price. He's going to what? Sacrifice his life. The Lamb of God, he sacrificed his life to take away the sin of the world, to redeem the children of Israel. He said the blood was a what? Ransom. It what? It said figurative, figurative atonement. Atonement or ransom. So his blood was the what? Ransom the turn of Israel. You need to <laughs> read. It means of losing. To lose. To lose the turn of Israel from what? Bondage or oppression. You see that from under the oppressor. Because the eyes cut you and I'm going to deliver you. Where it is always used to signify equivalence. Thus it is used of the ransom. For a life. Of the what? The ransom for a life. So you feel a life for a life. You see that? My life for the life of the nation of Israel, God's people elect. Of the redemption price of a slave. Of the what? Of the redemption price of a slave. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is the, the Greek dictionary, the, the strongest concordance. The Ritoha. Who should Hamashiach give his life as the redemption price of a slave? That was first Corinthians 2, <laughs> 2 and 8. Paul, Paul talking about first Corinthians 2 and 8. Which none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. That would Paul say, they had known this mystery, that what? His blood, the Lamb of God, that take away the sin of the world, John 129, was to be what? The redemption price of a slave. They would have never killed him. <laughs> you need to understand, it's a mystery. They would have never crucified him, because the price of a captive. You see that his blood was the one to set the captives free. You keep hearing that. And Matthew 20, 20, talking about the ransom sacrifice. The ransom sacrifice. These false witnesses talking about ransom sacrifice. Rans and they don't have a clue what they're talking about. He is the ransom sacrifice. Matthew 20 and 28. Um, Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto. You see that? I'm coming, you yeah, shouldn't come from the way to teach him. But to minister. I come to teach you people something. You turn away something. That you must repent and come back to the Lord. And to give his life a ransom for many. Of many of who? The children of Israel. You see that? Go, go back to um, the definition in. Um, we're going to. G, sorry, Greek 3084 now. Greek 3084. Lutro, as a verb, means to release on receipt of ransom. So the children of. His blood was what? They have to release the children of Israel from being oppressed or captive. Signifying to release by paying a ransom price to redeem. You see that the, the Yahushua's blood is to redeem the children of Israel in a natural sense of, sense of delivering. A deliverer, a redeemer, same thing. Ransom sacrifice, same thing. But we trusted that it had been He, it had been who? He, Yahushua, which should have redeemed Israel. You see that? We just read it in Luke uh, 1 68 to 80. And besides all this, Today is the third day since these things were done. Of setting Israel free from the Roman yoke. From the what? From the Roman yoke. Of setting Israel free from the Roman yoke. This fourth beast, this fourth kingdom. You see that? The oppressors. You see that? That's Malachi 1 and 4. You see that? that Edom, Edom say it. The Roman yoke. The Roman empire. That's what he said. You see that? The revived Roman empire. In a spiritual sense. Who gave himself for us? That he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people. That what? Clean, clean your cup. Means that we're going to bring it back under the covenant of the law. That we're talking about. Bring it back under the covenant. Um, um, Greek 35. From redeem. From redeem. Redemption. Lutrosis. As a noun. Means a redemption. And is used in the general sense of deliverance of the nation of Israel. You see that? Of deliverance of who? The nation of Israel. From under what? Under the Roman yoke. <laughs> you need to understand. Go read. You're going to spend your money and buy Nike. You see that? The latest Nike, the latest um, <laughs> Jordan, the latest and everything. You're going to get, get a book and read and educate yourself. And repent and come back and keep the laws of God. Go back to... Um, the, go to Matthew 5, 1 to 9. Matthew chapter 5, verse 1 through 9. Now we can start to understand. Once you get the, the broader sense of what this book is talking about, who is talking about is your history book, you children of Israel scattered in diaspora, then you're going to start making sense to you. But you don't see it as your book. You see that? It's a hidden book. It's this one book. It's your history. Your history is right in here. You don't have to go out of here. Everything is right here. That we're talking about. You see that? Go to this website and go to that website. Everything is right here. It's here. Keep the laws of God and you will, you will lead it to the roadmap. 
it's right in here. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain. And when he has set, when he was set, his disciples came unto him, Yahushua. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit. He said, The man, the poor in spirit or the oppressed, is the blessed man. He is blessed. You see that? The last go be first. He is the blessed one. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The last will be first. The oppressed will be, will be first. You see that? The Solomon say what? The tears of such as were oppressed. They're going to be first. Yahushua said say the same thing, yes. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. You ever see, blessed you, Ecclesiastes 4 and 1 say what? The tears of such. I'm sorry, return and consider all oppression that are done under the sun. And behold, the tears of such as were oppressed. You see that? And they have no comforter. Go to, go back to uh, Matthew 5 and 4. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. They, uh, they will get the comforter. You see that? They were oppressed. But what? They have no comfort in Ecclesiastes 4 and 1? Yeah, who shall say what? They will, be, they, will, they will be comforted. Because if you return to the laws, I will send a comforter to you. We will come and make our bow our with you. You will be comforted. Because the Spirit of the Father and the Son will be on you. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. You see that? The meek, they shall inherit the earth. You see that? Them nicer. Eh? Them so nicer. Eh? That's all they say about me. Them so nice, eh? you, guys, you, you guys so nice, you so nice, eh? oh listen, we, the meek, the meek of the earth, you see that, we are the children of God, <laughs> you see that, the certain characteristics we still have, that what the most I say, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth, the earth, the earth belongs to us, you see that, come back to the laws, blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled, you see that, if it thirst and hunger for keeping the laws, that is commandments, the righteousness, Deuteronomy 6.25, the commandments of God, keep it, thirst and hunger for that, that we should be striving for. For they shall be filled. You see that? Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. So show mercy, you're going to get mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart. Be of a pure mind. Your pure in heart, your heart is your mind. Be of a pure mind. Be honest with the loving neighbor as yourself. Let me talk about Do unto others what I'm doing to you. Apply the law one, one to another. For they shall see God. This is the one that's going to see God. You can't see God by being deceitful and crafty and being extortioners, being homemongers, adulterers. You see that? Willful sinners. You can repent and stop. Repent from all these, these attributes. You see that? And come back to the laws of God. Blessed are the pure in heart. That's when you become pure in heart. You see, you're going to be serving them, God. What, what? You're going to be seek, hungering and thirsting after the Lord, the righteousness. Keeping them, Lord. So then you're going to be what? Pure in heart. Your mind going to be pure. For they shall see God. That's going to get immortality. You see that? Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. That's why you're going to be called the children of God. You are, you are the ones that are going to make peace. Go to Galatians 4 and 4. Galatians chapter 4 and verse 4. Have you think Galatians 4 and 4, 4, 4 and 5? But when the fullness of the time was come, you see that? When the, what, in the last days or the latter days of the earth, you see that? God sent forth his son, Yahushua Mashiach, made of a woman, Mary, made under the law, you see that? To redeem them. To do what? Redeem or ransom, you see that? Or rescue them, the children of Israel that were under the law. Who was the laws of God given to? The same children of Israel under Moses in the, in the wilderness. To redeem them that were under the law, the same children of Israel, we are here. That's who is coming for us. We are the oppressed and the good right now that he's talking about. Is that, it? that we might receive the adoption of sons. That's what we're talking about. You're going to be adopted back to the Father. Matthew chapter 2, verse 1 to 6. Matthew 2 and 1. Now when Jehoshua was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east of Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled on all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou Bethlehem in the land of Judah art not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. He's going to what? A governor or rule. He's going to rule a redeemer. Redeemer is going to rule the children of Israel. Go to Matthew 15, 24. You're going to rule my people Israel. Rest here the Hushia, Hushia's own words. Matthew 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Uh, he said, I am not, I, I, my father only sent me for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I didn't come for everybody. <laughs> the, the, the elect, them who's going to keep my laws. I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I came for them Israelites. I deserve it. We have to say that's his own word. I come to redeem them from the hand of the Roman yoke. That's what we're talking about. The Bible is saying what it's saying. We hear this and plain semantics all the time. Go to Psalms chapter 2. <laughs> Go to Psalms chapter 2. We read in 1 to 12. Psalms 2 and 1. Why do the heathen rage? Why do the who? The heathen, the oppressors. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. You see that? Which most I say, I am punishing you to oppress my people for the violation of my law or despising my law. The, why do the heathen rage? Why are they, why are they mad now? <laughs> that's what the Zabel is saying. Why are you mad now? 
and the people imagine a vain thing. Why are you imagining vain things against the people of God? The kings of the earth. Who are the heathen? The kings of the earth. The oppressors, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked, the wicked of the earth. This fourth kingdom, this fourth empire. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel. So the kings of the earth and the who? The rulers in Israel. You see that? These rulers, the leaders of vanguards, of Pharisees, back then the vanguards, you see that? They take what? Counsel with the kings of the earth. Or you see that? They need to understand. The Bible is saying what it's saying. They take counsel together against the Lord. They hate God. They hate us of God. That's why they could buy and sell in the Lord's temple. You see that? That's why they could be sinning and being deceitful and cunning and crafty. You see that? Because they are what? They are haters of God. They take counsel against the Lord and against His anointed. You see that? That's why, they, that's why you guys are blasting them and whip them in the, in the temple for buying and selling. You see that? The wicked leaders and vanguards. Christ say what? No. They didn't cool to the, 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 the heathen. They take counsel against the Lord and against his anointed, against the Yahweh the Mosai and Yahushua the Son. They hate God and they hate the Son. That we're talking about. So that's why they're going to hate the disciples of God. You see that? They're going to hate the elect of God. Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their causes from us. You see that? He that sitting in the heavens shall laugh. The Mosai just laughing. Yahweh just laughing at them. The Lord shall have them in derision. He just laughing. You see that? Look at how simple here. Then shall he speak unto them in Israel. He going to what? Speak unto them in Israel. No, he's going to just talk, talk in Israel. I vexed it all. I'm at it all. No. I'm going to speak all in, I'm going to spank you. That's what talking about in my wrath. He's going to what? Show forth. He's going to stand shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill in Zion. He said, what? I'm going to set my king to rule over them. That's what he's talking about. That's what he's speaking to in my wrath. I'm going to shut you down. Shut this kingdom down. I will declare the decree. The Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten you. See that? Yahushua Mashiach. I am sending my son to the governor in Israel. He said, because I'm not sent unto the Lord, but also of Israel. Then I come forth. Ask of me. And the most I say, what? Ask of me. He's telling the son, Yahushua, ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. He most, the most I tell the son, just ask me. <laughs> just ask me, and I give you them, deliver them into your hand. You see that? Because I am using them as a sword to punish my people. But what? Just ask me. <laughs> I will deliver them into your hand. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Oh, you take it all. <laughs> the most I say, just ask me. You take it all. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Go and do what? Break these hidden nations with a rod of iron. That we're talking about. I'm coming to shut it down. Law and order. I'm not coming back as a man. I'm going to meet you as a God. That we're talking about. I'm coming as a man and walk the earth, but I'm coming back as a God. You see that? Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. That we say, he said what? Dash them like a what? Then, verse 6, verse 5, then shall he speak unto them in his wrath. That's what we're talking about. I'm going to dash them. <laughs> Go and dash them like a potter's vessel. Smash them. Be wise now, therefore, O you kings, be instructed, you judges of the earth. You see that? You rulers. You see that? And be instructed, you judges of the earth. You see that? Keep them lost at his Come back to them lost at his commandments. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. You children of Israel, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice. Come back to them lost at his commandments. You are the judges of the earth. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry and he perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled, but a little. You see what? When you have get mad, his wrath is kindled, just a little. Just a little mad, he won't perish. You see that? Not receive very mad. Or extremely mad, that's a little mad. <laughs> You're gonna perish. That's the power he's talking about. You turn on poor immortal. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him, the ones who are gonna keep them laws. That we're talking about. Keep them laws because you, you, you don't recognize Christ. You, you're not from God. You're a child of the devil. You see that? You're not accepting Christ. You're a child of the devil, straight from the devil. You see what? No man comes to the Father but through me. You have to accept the Son to get to the Father. You know, cross here is once you reject in the Son. Is that we're talking about? Go to um, Hosea chapter 3 and verse 4 and 5. Hosea 3, verse 4 and 5. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king and without a prince. That we're talking about. They would not be many days in the diaspora. Oppressed because we don't have a king. No comforter. Is no com without a prince. No comforter. He's a prince of peace. That we're talking about. Go um, Isaiah 6. Sorry, Isaiah 9. Isaiah 9 and verse 6. For until a child is born... And thus the son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. You see that? That was um, Hosea 3 and 4 saying, For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king and without a prince. He's the Prince of Peace. You see that? Without a sacrifice. So no sacrifice. You're going to be scattered in the diaspora. Without an image and without an ephod and without teraphim. Afterwards just shall the children of Israel return and seek the Lord their God. And we're going to repent and cry out as you cry out in the last days. And David their king, Yahushua Mashiach, and shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the latter days. We cry out. It's about to go down. We are in the latter days. That we're talking about. It's about to go down. Um, Zechariah 9 verse 1 to 9. 
Zechariah chapter 9, verse 1 through 9. Zechariah 9 and 1. The burden of the word of the Lord in the land of Hadra and Damascus shall be the rest thereof. When the eyes of man, as of all the tribes of Israel, shall be toward the Lord. You see that book, they're going to repent and return to them, Lord. And Hamath also shall border thereby. Tyrus and Zidon, though it be very wise. And Tyrus did build herself a stronghold, and heaped up silver as the dust, and fine gold as the mire of the streets. Behold, the Lord will cast her out, and he will smite her power in the sea, and she shall be devoured with fire. And Ashkelon shall see it, and fear. Gaza also shall see it. You see who? Gaza. Gaza, you see that? You need to pay attention, and be very sorrowful. And Ekron, for expectation, shall be ashamed, and the king shall perish from Gaza. You see that? The king shall what? Perish from Gaza, and Ashkelon shall not be inhabited. And a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. A what? The most I say, a bastard going to be dwelling in Ashdod. Where's Gaza? <laughs> you call it what? The Gaza Strip. Yeah. Did my divided land. They divide my land. The most I say, what? Did he not. Did Ezekiel 35? Ezekiel chapter 35? Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse 5. Ezekiel 36 and 5. Thus. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia, which have appointed my land into their possession. You see that? So Idumia or Edom or Esau Rome. You see that? Have appointed the most I God lands into their possession. You see that? That's what the most I say. They have, they're in my land. Go back to um, Zechariah 9 and 5 and Abbas 9 and 6 and Abbas shall dwell in Ashdod. You see that? Idumia, Edom. You see, appointed what? My land in their possession. Abbas shall dwell in Ashdod. And I will cut off the pride of the Philistines. The, the Philistines come from where? Palestine. The Palestinians. Palestine. Philistines. Palestine. You see what? The, uh, the Palestine and, uh, and Idumia dwelling in my land. In, uh, in uh, Ashdod or Tel Aviv. They, they, they divide my land. <laughs> Gaza. You see that? To divide my land. You need to pay attention. He said, and I will take away his blood out of his mouth and his abomination from between his teeth. But he that remaineth, even he, shall be for our God, and he shall be as a governor of Judah in Judah, and Ekron as a, as a Jebusite. And I will encamp about mine house, because of the army, because of him that passeth by, and because of him that returneth, and no oppressor shall pass through them any more. Most I say, no oppressor going to be oppressing the children of Israel no more. You see, they're going to cut them off. That's what we're talking about. No oppressor, because Solomon said there's tears in the eyes of them that are oppressed, the children of Israel. That we're talking about. For now have I seen with mine eyes. The most I say, I have seen with my eyes. Rejoice, verse 9. Um, Zechariah 9 and 9. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. O who? Daughter of Zion. The, the, the one, you see that? Um, <laughs> Ecclesiastes say. Ecclesiastes 4 and 1. Solomon say what? So I return and consider all the oppression that are done under the sun. And behold, the tears of such as were oppressed. You see that? The, the children of the daughter of Zion. The most I say, back to Zechariah 9 and 9. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem, behold, thy king cometh unto thee, because no oppressor shall pass to thee anymore. Thy king who? The king coming unto thee. Who's that king? Yahushua Mashiach. You see what? Thy king cometh unto thee. He is just. He is what? Just. He's about the law. Lawful. And having salvation. He's coming to bring about your salvation or deliverance. You see that? You see that? A redemption. The redemption price of a slave from the Roman yoke, as we just read. <laughs> you see that in the concordance? The salvation. Lowly and riding upon an ass. He's doing what he coming what? Riding upon an ass and upon a colt and a fool of an ass. You see that? He coming riding upon an ass and a colt and a fool of an ass. Go to Jeremiah 23 and read verse 1 to 8. Jeremiah 23 verse 1 through 8. Jeremiah 23 and 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor, say the Lord. There's all these false, fake pastors teaching lies and deceits and deception. Therefore, thus say the Lord God of Israel, against the pastor that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, said the Lord. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries where I have driven them. Did you see that redemption time? Redemption time? Out of all countries where I have driven them. Most I say, I scattered them behind for violating my law, for hating me and my law, despising my law, and rejecting my law. I scattered them, so guess who did gather them? I come in to gather them. They are my flock. You see that? And, and will bring them again to their folds, and they shall be fruitful and increase. I bring them back to home, back to the, the Palestine. You see that? Behold, verse 4, And I will set up shepherds over them, which shall feed them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed. Neither shall they be lacking, said the Lord. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch. You see that? Unto who? The king, the king, the lineage of the king is con continuing. The kings of the United Kingdom is continuing. You see that? From the seed of David, a righteous branch. Yahushua Mashiach. And a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. He's going to execute what? 
Judgment and judgment. Just, just judgment and justice in the earth is going to rule the earth. Ask of me and I shall give you what? The, key, the hidden for the inheritance and the utmost part for their possession. Judgment and justice. Yeah, Ushua, the Father and the Son. He's setting up the Son. Take it over. Take this kingdom. In his days, Judah shall be saved. Who's going to be saved? Judah. Southern kingdom. <laughs> you see that? Going to be saved. And Israel shall dwell safety. Northern kingdom. You see that? The, the, these are the ten tribes that came in the north. This north, southern, central America. You see that scattered? And the, the, and the, 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 the southern kingdom, Judah, that ran to the west coast of Africa. You see that? The, the, they will be saved. In his days, shall Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is the name whereby he shall be called, the Lord our righteousness. They see that Yahushua Mashiach, the Lord our righteousness, the most like setting up kingdom here. Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that they shall no more say, the Lord liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Nobody will be talking about the Egypt, Egyptian Exodus no more. But the Lord liveth, which brought up the, and which led the seed of the house of Israel. The what? The seed. No, spiritual Israel is everybody. We are all spiritual Israelites. No, the, but the Lord liveth, which brought up the, and which led the seed. Seed. Sperm. Sperm. Go to Hebrews 2 and 16. Let's see what we're talking about. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 16. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took, a, took on him the seed of Abraham. You see that? Wherefore in all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren. So that seed is a sperm. You just talk about that. Made like what? Your brethren, your blood, your bloodline, or your bread, your blood, your brother. That he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. That is Yahushua Hamashiach. That we're talking about. It's the seed, the seed. Go back to um, Jeremiah 23. And verse 8, But the Lord liveth which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel, the bloodline, the churn of Israel, my churn, out of the north country. Out of what? The north country. Babylon is talking about, see, the north country, see Babylon. Is it Babylon? Out of the north country, do you see that? And from all the countries where I have driven them. And from what? All the countries, plural, where I have driven them. You see that? <laughs> I, where I have driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. The diaspora. I'm bringing them out. You see that? Did Moses say what? I come and get them out. I'm coming and get them out. Go to Micah chapter 5, verse 2 to 9. Micah 5, verse 2 to 9. Micah chapter 5 and 2. But thou Bethlehem, Ephrata, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel. See, so you see that? The ruler in Israel is coming out of you. Whose goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting. Therefore will he give them up until the time that which she sorry therefore will he give them up until the time that she which travaileth had brought forth then the remnant of his brethren shall return unto the children of Israel then who the remnant of his brethren shall return unto the children of Israel he shall be what ruler in Israel he's coming to establish rulership so Saul is going to save them from where they are being conquered and being oppressed redeem them out of the hand that is too them or too, or too, too strong for them who are stronger than him and he shall stand and feed in the strength of the Lord in the majesty of the name of the Lord, his God, Yahushua, and they shall abide. For now shall he be great unto the ends of the earth. And this man shall be the peace. You see that? He shall be the what? The peace. When the Syrian shall come into our land, and when he shall tread in our palaces, then shall we raise against him seven shepherds and eight principal men. And they shall waste the land of Assyria with the sword, and the land of Nimrod in the entrances thereof. Thus shall he deliver us from the Assyrian. So do you see what? Who delivered the children of Israel from the Assyrian? Yahushua. When he cometh into our land, and when he treadeth within our borders, and the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people. The remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of what? Many people scattered in the diaspora. You see that? Many people. As a dew from the Lord, as the showers upon the grass, that tarrieth not for man, nor waiteth for the sons of men. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles. That shall be a what? Among the Gentiles. Scattered among these hidden nations. You see that? In the diaspora. In the midst of many people as a lion among the beasts of the forest. As a what? A lion. What is a lion? He's king of the jungle. He's king. He's the I am king. So the remnant of, the, of Jacob or Israel going to be what? As kings. Kings as lions among the heathen. You see that? We see that? As lion among the beasts of the forest. As a young lion among the flocks of sheep. As a lion in the middle of sheep. Sheep helpless. You see that? Once you come back to them laws, they are helpless. That's what the Mosai is saying. You're going to be like a lion. What are you going to do? Who, if we go through, if we what? If we go through them sheep, both shred it down and tear it in pieces and none can deliver. You see that? If when the lion decide to tear them sheep apart, sheep, sheep apart, there's nothing they can do to stop it. That's what the Moses say. You come back to the Lord, you have the power of a lion. That's what you're gods. You will be gods again. That's what the Moses say. Matthew chapter 21, I read verse 1. Matthew 21, I read 1 through 15. 
Matthew 21 and 1 through 15. And when they drew nigh unto Jerusalem, and were come to Bethpage, unto the Mount of Olives, Olives, then sent Jesus to Yahushua, two disciples, saying unto them, Go into the village over against you, and straightway you shall find an ass tied, and a colt with her. Lose them, and bring them unto me. So that was the Quran 9 and 9. Behold, your, thy king cometh riding an ass and a colt. Did you see that? Christ said what? Go and bring that. So do what? All the things that the prophet said, I came and fulfilled. That we're talking about. That was one of the things that Quran 9 and they say what? Christ will come on an ass riding a colt. And he said what? He said, go and get an ass. Go and tell them and bring the ass to me. And if any man say aught unto you, you shall say, The Lord had need of him, and straightway he will send it. So if anybody asks, let's tell them, I want it. And all this was done, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet. You see that? You see that? It was spoken by the prophet, which said, Tell ye the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy king cometh unto thee, meek and sitting, up, sitting upon an ass and a coat, and the full of an ass, Zechariah 9 and 9. You see that? That way he did the quoting. And he fulfilled that. He came and fulfilled that. He never come and destroy the law. He come and fulfill the law. No, he fulfill what the prophets were saying about me. That's what he's talking about. And the disciples went and did as Yahushua commanded them, and brought the ass and the coat, and put on them their clothes, and they set him there, thereon. And a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. Others cut down branches from the trees and strewed them in the way. So they were making a, a, a royal a procession a presentation for him. You see that? Royal carpet. That was the, we're going to do, do that side. Bamboo trees. You see that? Spread the clothes. You see that? That's what the oppressed, that's oppressed, that's a poor man, <laughs> poor man style. The most I say what? Spread my clothes and cut down by my tree and lay it. That's the king. We can come in riding on what? An ass. You see that? No, he come in on a white horse, a little white horse. He come in on an ass. He come and come on humble. I come in just like you. Oh, as the oppressed. Because I come in for the oppressed. You see that? I is your king. I ain't come in no fancy, fancy fanfare. You see what? And verse 9, and the multitude that went before and that followed cried saying, Hosanna to the son of David. You see that? Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Because he was, he come as an ambassador to the Most High God. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You see that? And when he was come into Jerusalem, all the city was moved saying, Who is this? You see that? Who is that? And the multitude said, This is Yahushua, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. He is the prophet of what? Nazareth of Galilee. You see that? Who is he? Who is he? You see that? And Yahushua went into the temple of God and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold up. So he came in the temple and said, You see what? None of the buying and selling here. Shut it down. Wap. And said unto them, It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. You see that if you're buying and selling in the Lord's temple or the Lord's sanctuary or the Lord's house, you see that? You will, you're a thief. Yahushua said, you're, you're a den of thieves. You make it a den of thieves. You're a thief. That we're we talking about. You're in the midst of sin. Repent and stop. And the blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he healed them. And when the chief priests and scribes saw the wonderful things that he did, and the children crying in the temple, and saying, Hosanna to the son of David, they were so displeased. They see that the vanguard, those chief priests and Pharisees, those vanguards and rulers of Israel, they were envious, they were displeased, they were mad, envious. Did Pilate say? For envy they had delivered him, because they find no fault in him. That we're talking about is a spirit of hatred. Hatred, they hate their own. You see, they hate the prophets of God, they hate the laws of God, they despise the laws of God, they despise God, his son, his prophets. You see that? In the we talk, you need to understand what time it is. Read um, Jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 10. Jeremiah 16, read verse 10 to 21. Jeremiah 16 and 10 through 21. Jeremiah 16 and 10. And it shall come to pass, when thou shalt shew this people all these words, the children of Israel, and they shall say unto thee, Wherefore had the Lord pronounced all this great evil against us? Why the Lord put oppress we? Is why the Lord put scattering the diaspora into captivity? Why the Lord do this to us? Of what or what is our iniquity? What is our sin? What did we do? Or what is our sin? What did we do that we have committed against the Lord our God? Then shall thou say unto them, Because your fathers have forsaken me, said the Lord, and have walked after other gods. You went into idolatry and have served them and have worshipped them and have forsaken me and have not kept my law. You hate me. That we say. And you have done worse than your fathers. You children of Israel, it's most likely you've done worse than your fathers. For behold, you walk everyone after the imagination of his evil heart. And that that they may not hearken unto me. Therefore I will cast you out of this land and into a land that you know not. Neither ye nor your fathers. And there you shall serve other gods day and night. Where I will not show you favor. You will be oppressed. <laughs> that would be um, Solomon saying what? And there were tears of them that were oppressed. They were crying out. Most I say, showing you no favor. Because on the side of the oppressors, there's power. I could be on the side punishing you behind. Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, 
that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Nobody will be talking about Egypt Exodus again. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. And from all the lands where they driven them, the diaspora, <laughs> we're talking about. And I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers back home. And behold, I will send for many fishers, and said the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after shall, will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. So the fishers are here fishing for the children of Israel. Then they repent and come back to the laws of God. And then the hunters are coming with Yahushua to kill. That we're talking about. All who don't hear, all who don't repent, all who don't return, they won't get put to death. You're going to die. Your hunters are coming. They're hunting. If you don't repent, that's what the grace is for. Your grace will be up once you make that return. Your grace is up. So you have become an enemy, your, your grace is up, the time for, for repentance. The most is long-suffering, you have grace. Um, go to Zechariah chapter 9 and read verse 10 to 16. Zechariah chapter 9, read verse 10 to 16. Zechariah 9 and 10. And I will cut off the chariot from Ephraim, and the horse from Jerusalem, and the battle both shall be cut off. And he shall speak peace unto the heathen. And his dominion shall be from sea, to sea even to sea, and from the river even to the ends of the earth. And as for thee also, by the blood of thy covenant, I have sent forth thy prisoners out of the pit, where is no water. Turn you to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. Turn to the stronghold, the Lord is your stronghold. You see that? Come back to them laws. Even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. When I have bent Judah for me. When I have done what? Bent Judah for me. Fill the bow with Ephraim. The most I say, they my war wagon. I'm making them my war weapons. Fill the bow with Ephraim, and raise up thy sons, O Zion, against thy sons, O Greece. The children of Israel against who? Thy sons, O Greece. The Greco-Roman Empire. You see that? Because the Romans, what? Um, absorb Greece. Or absorb, absorb Greece. You see that? The Greco-Roman Empire. And made thee as the sword of a mighty man, the children of Israel, Zion, and the Lord shall be seen over them. The, uh, most I say, I coming back to fight for you, I come to this word, save you, redeem you. Guess what? And I'm with you now. No more press. And his arrow shall go forth as a lightning, and the Lord shall blow the trumpet, and shall go with whirlwinds of the south, and the Lord of hosts shall defend them. The most I say, I'm going to defend them. You see that? On the side of, you see that? On the side of the oppressor, there was power. Now, the power will be on your side, the oppressed. <laughs> the Lord of hosts shall defend them, and they shall devour and subdue with sling and stones, and they shall bring, drink and make a noise as do, true wine. You see that? As if they drunk. You see that? And they shall be filled like bowls, and as the corners of the altar. And the Lord their God shall save them in that day as the flocks of his people, for they shall be as the stones of a crown lifted up as an ensign upon his land. That's what most I say, going back home. You're going to be as a crown, as an ensign, the beacons of the earth. You see that the children of Israel ruling back the earth as the one to back up mighty, mighty and powerful as the one to. Go to Deuteronomy 33 29. Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 29. Deut Happy are thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee? O people saved by the Lord, the children of Israel. You see that? Verse 28. Israel then shall dwell safe, safe in safety alone. The most I say, Israel will dwell in safety. Which says, Happy are thou, O Israel. Who is thy unto thee? O people saved by the Lord. You see that? The shield of thy help. And who is the sword of thy ex excellency? And thine enemies shall be found liars unto thee. And thou shalt tread upon the high places. The most I say, you will be people going to be saved by the Lord. The, the, the oppressed and the what? The enemies of the oppressors shall be found liars unto thee. You see that? They will be found what? Liars. I'm going to reveal who they are. That's who they are. They are the they're, they're wicked of the earth. They are my sword. I was just punishing them, using them to punish you. But you are my people. They will be found what? Liars. Deceivers. That we're talking about. Go to Acts chapter 1 verse 6. Acts chapter 1 and verse 6. Acts 1 and 6. When they therefore will come together, the disciples, they ask of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? So they ask Yahushua, will you give you a power, rulership of power again at this time? He said, no, this is not the time yet. That we saying, but the key is what? Will you restore again the kingdom to Israel? We said, will you deliver us again out of the, out of the Roman yoke? That we said, no. Christ said, what? This is not the time yet. And he, said unto, and he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times and the seasons which your father had put in his own power. That we're talking about. It's not yet. Go to Acts chapter 3 and read verse 19 to 21. Acts 3, 19 to 21. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. He said, repent. Come back to them laws. He said that, that, that your sins will be blotted out or forgiven. When the time of refreshing the, Lord, the latter days, we will come to judge this kingdom. And he shall send Yahushua um, Hamashiach, which before was preached unto you. Whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things. So we must what, die and we go back to the Father until the times of restitution of what? The times of the restitution, def definition of the world, 
a restoring of something according to Miriam Webster's definition, a, rest a restoration of something, sorry, a restoration of something to its rightful owner. Rulership of this kingdom, of rulership of this earth to its rightful owner, the churn of Israel. So you see that the Israelites kept it in the diaspora. The oppressed of the earth. You see that the um, um, lamentation, um, Ecclesiastes 4 1, Solomon say what? They oppressed. I see the tears of such as were oppressed, and there was no comforter with them. Most I say what? I come into fight for you now. I will be your comforter. So what? Until the times of restitution, I come and bring salvation or redemption and restore you back to your rightful place of power on the earth. That we need to understand. Go to um, Matthew chapter 24. Verse 29. Matthew 24, verse 29. And we then 29 to 31. Matthew 24 and 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give a light, and the stars shall fall from the heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. So the Israelites are going to get cast away into captivity. That we told they're going to be the oppressed of the earth. You see that? That was the sacking of Jerusalem. When the 70 AD under Titus and Vespasian. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in the heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. He coming for deliverance. You see that? Coming for salvation. To deliver his children of Israel from what? Under the Roman yoke. You see that? From the price of the captive for a slave. Redemption or redeem. That we're talking about according to the um, Strong's expansive, ex exhaustive, expansive concordance. You see that? Definition of the word redeem. He's talking about what? He got. And the tribes of the earth are going to mourn. They're going to mourn. Do you see that? When the, tri the tribulation is up, the, what, the oppression is up. Go ahead. What, um, verse 31. And he shall send his angels. Yahusha sent them what? His army of angels with a great song of a trumpet. You see that? The trumpets of revelation. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds. He got on who? His elect, the children of Israel from the four winds. East, west, north, east, west, north, and south. The diaspora scattered. You see that? From the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Now you see that? Now learn a parable. That we see. Learn a parable. The most I say what? He coming to gather them from the four winds. The redemption of God's people. Yahushua Hamashiach, the Messiah coming. Go back to Ecclesiastes 4 and 1. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 1. So I return and consider all the oppression that are done under the sun. This is what Solomon, now you understand what we're talking about. I consider what? Hmm, mulling and that. Under the sun. And behold, the tears of such as were oppressed, the children of Israel, the children of God. You see that? Oppressed in, from 1780 till now in the diaspora. You see what? And they had no comforter. You see that? Because God has forsaken them. You see that? For the violation of his laws, he delivered them into Hannah and his enemies. And on the side of the oppressors, there was power. He was on the side of the oppressors, punishing you behind, using them to punish you. The wicked is my sword. Psalm, Psalm 17, 13, 14. The wicked is my son, for men which are my hand. They're the hand of the Lord. That we're talking about. But what? Okay, you have to say what? I come in to get them in the end. You see that? I come in and gather my elect from the four winds. Matthew 24, 31. Redemption for the children of Israel. I pray you get some understanding from today's class. Shalom.